Greetings, fellow action figure connoisseurs, and welcome to another episode of Digital Caveman Presents Marvel Monday. I, as always, am your host, the Digital Caveman, and today I will be presenting you with the Marvel Legends series Void Build-A-Figure Waves, The Vision. Let's get into it! Let's start things off with a look at the packaging. And here we have on the top, build a figure, Marvel's The Void, assortment number four and up. Warning, don't stick things in your pie hole that do not belong there. The vision symbol, legend series. Nice big window showcasing the vision and his void piece. Marvel, vision, Hasbro print. On the bottom, small print, fine print, legalese print, main china print, symbols I'm not gonna learn, and a barcode. On this side, some nice artwork of the vision. And on this side, nice artwork of the vision and surprise on the back. Nice artwork of the vision, only more of it. Vision, Marvel Legends series. The amazing android vision commands unearthly powers and abilities to fight for humanity as a member of the Avengers. And here it is again in some other languages. Build-A-Figure Marvel's The Void. There is the completed Void Build-A-Figure with numbers corresponding to which figure comes with which pieces. And here's the cross sales. Squadron Supreme, Power Princess, Marvel's Crystar, New Warriors Justice, The Vision, Nemarita, Namor, Black Panther. Eat sold separately, subject to availability. Attention, don't stick things in your French pie hole that do not belong there. Warning, attention, Octoon, don't stick things in any other language pie hole that don't belong there. And don't give it to babies. Marvel print, small fine legalese made in China print, and Hasbro print. That, my friends, completes our look at the packaging. Let's take a look at the figure and his accessories. And first up, we have his Build-A-Figure piece for the Void. So, pretty ugly looking dude there. I do like the light paint app they have there in the center of the mouth. Kind of makes it look like it's glowing. The eyes look pretty cool. And it's kind of a translucent plastic what the outer part of it is made out of so that gives it a neat look as well I doubt that I'll be finishing that build a figure though then also he has extra set of hands on in and out hinges most likely stuff that we've seen in the line before and here he has one hand where he's reaching out to phase and or lower his density he doesn't really phase even though it's kind of what he does but lower his density reach inside somebody and disrupt their molecular structure enough to kind of knock them out at least that's the way I remember it and then kind of a reaching out regular hand on an in and out hinge as well and nice molded details in there on both of them. Now let's take a look at the Vision himself. And I'm pretty sure this is the new Vulcan body. But I'm not going to swear to that. Now, first of all, I have to say, you know, one thing I do not like about this figure is the, the cape. So I will most likely be trying to replace that with a wired cloth cape. But as far as the look of the figure, I mean, the cape, it looks okay. And as long as he's in a static pose, that's fine. But I have to say, the head sculpt is really, really good. And I do think they did a good job with the paint apps 
on this. The only thing is, you know, they they give vision wide eyes, and a lot of times, at least early on, I don't I don't know about more recent stuff, but early on in the comics, his eyes were always kind of shadowed from his brow. You never really got a good look at his eyes unless he was shooting beams out of them or whatever. But I think he shoots beams out of the solar jewel there. But overall, very nice, classic, clean look for the vision. And I, I do like it. Butterfly joints, pinless joints. You know, I wish they could have given him like a ball joint here. But that's wishful thinking, I suppose. As far as his articulation goes, he can look up that far, and you can see he's on the classic ball and hinge joint there. He can look down that far, so that's not bad. He can do the full exorcist, but the head pops off when he does it because the cape is so, the collar of the cape is so high. So, I can't even see, does he have chicken neck? Yes, he's got a little chicken neck. And... He's got a little bit of waggle there. At the shoulder, he does have those butterfly joints. And you know what? Let's let's just take the cape off to look at his articulation. You can see he's got a port right there. And the cape has a post on it. So Now, at the shoulders, it does have butterfly joint. It will go back that far. It will go forward that far. I've seen people fix it so that it will move further. 360 degree rotation at the shoulder and he can raise his arm up that high well past 90 so that's pretty darn good cut here at the upper bicep for full 360 degree rotation double hinged pinless elbow like I mentioned before and gives you that much range of motion which is really good 360 degree rotation at the wrist on an in and out hinge then classic ab crunch in the ab back that far forward that far straight cut at the waist for a 360 degree rotation at the hips gives you that much of the splits he kicks forward approximately 90 degrees and backwards maybe about a step and a half cut here at the upper thigh 360 degree rotation there double hinged pinless knee and he gives you that much bend with it at the upper mid shin a boot cut for another 360 degree rotation and then at the ankle tilts down that far tilts up that far and forward facing pin for rocker as far as putting the cape back on just goes over the neck and put the post in the port pop the head back on and oops let's take it back on their head there we go now it's on there now I can get him to stand back up. That's a look at our fully functioning Synthozoid and his accessories. It's time for my favorite part of a review, comparisons. And here we have the Marvel Legends series Void Build-A-Figure Waves, The Vision, with the Marvel Legends Hulkbuster Build-A-Figure Waves, The Vision, the Marvel Legends retro carded West Coast Avengers Vision Quest Vision, and the Marvel Legends retro carded Avengers The Vision. For our final set of comparisons, here we have the Marvel Legends series Void Build a Figure Waves The Vision. With our final Marvel Legends series comparison, making his cameo appearance, Stan the Man Lee 
From G.I. Joe Classified Series, we have the Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Regal Variant Cobra Commander. From Star Wars The Black Series, we have the Archive Edition 501st Legion Clone Trooper. And from the Masters of the Universe Masterverse line, the 40th Anniversary He-Man. For final thoughts on the Marvel Legends series Void Build-A-Figure Waves, The Vision, I have to say this is a really good entry in the Marvel Legends series for The Vision. We've had, you know, a few ahead of this one. Um, the West Coast Avengers white version, and there was a previous version of this one, which I believe was the retro-carded version. I want to say it was on the Bucky Cat body, maybe. And then there was a more modern version before that. And then there may have been another Hasbro one in there somewhere. I think there was a three pack that I, I don't have that one. And then there may be another one in there somewhere from Hasbro. I don't know. And then the last one or at least the first one that I can remember is the Toy Biz vision and I do I think I think this is a really good entry for the vision and even though I don't necessarily agree with them the way that they did this figure's eyes you know because in the comics they're always kind of shaded at least you know what I remember of it you know unless he's shooting beams from his eyes or something where he's really super angry or a bright light shining in his face. You really don't see his eyes. It's it's all, you know, it's usually very dark under his brow and you can't see his eyes. But for an action figure, I understand why they made that decision, I suppose. And I would say, you know, the range of motion on this figure, the butterflies could be a little bit more... But other than that, you know, it's pretty standard fare for Marvel Legends. I would have to say the biggest drawback for this figure is the giant plastic cape. And I have ordered a wired cloth cape to go on this vision. My only issue with it is that, like, you see in this one, the front of it, near the neck you know there's a, a string that that ties the two sides of the cape together that cape that i ordered does not have that so i'll have to figure out a way to simulate that or add that to it but that's down the road it could be you know several weeks before i get that cape so but i really think that that's going to add value to this character because you know, some other ones, plastic capes, you can kind of get by, but then there's others that some of the posings that you might have to do with them just really don't lend themselves to these plastic capes. So, you know, if I have to say my, my biggest disappointment with this figure is, you know, the cape. And from a certain point of view, I understand why they're still doing plastic capes, but there are other companies... Now, like McFarlane, he's put a couple of offerings out now, Batman, that has wired cloth capes. He's even done some soft goods without the wire. And so, hopefully, you know, the entire industry is moving in that direction. I would really like to, to see that become, you know, a standard, standard thing for action figures with capes. Or even, you know, long trench coats. Well, that does it for the review. I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Only support from viewers like you make this programming possible. Each view does count, and I do appreciate each and every single view. Thank you, thank you, and thank you so very, very much for viewing my content. If you would like to support my content further, I'm now offering memberships at various tiers. Click the join button and see if any membership offerings are right for you, but only if you are in a position to do so. Like, share, subscribe if you would like to see more content or just help the channel out or both. That's even better. 
And don't forget to ding that bell so that in the future you will be notified as my new content becomes available. That's a wrap, folks. I'll see you next time.